Hey guys and welcome back to the Supercai Guy channel. Today I will show you how to lift your BMW i3 onto four jack stands on all four corners of the car. To be very clear, BMW does not provide technical information on how to do this properly and they recommend using a vehicle lift. That would be great, but unfortunately I don't have one. Also, this car does not have any additional lifting points beside the standard four, unlike many other BMWs, so it's a little trick here. However, as more and more people start working on their own BMW i3s at home, it may not always be possible to use a lift. And of course, having your car on jack stands is much safer than just using a jack. So to do this safely, you will need a jack that will safely lift your car, four jack stands, and of course, plenty of common sense. This video is just for demonstration purposes only, so follow all safety precautions and be safe. If it doesn't feel right or safe at any point, stop. With the warnings out of the way, let me show you how I put this car on jack stands. I start by lifting up the front left corner of the vehicle using my floor jack, and thanks to this car's stiff body, the rear corner lifts at the same time. This gives me enough space to put a jack stand in place and slowly lower the car. Even after removing the floor jack, the front wheel is still off the ground, but not enough to put a jack stand in place. So we have to lift the front just a little bit. The best spot to use for this is the control arm. And of course, to protect the control arm from damages, I put some rubber between the surfaces. The closer you can get to the wheel, the less stress you will put on the control arm. The way I have it set up here felt very light, as if there was no weight to lift, which is exactly what you want. I put the second jack stand in place once I had enough clearance and then lowered the car. The left side is now on two jack stands, so it's time to move to the other side. Let's use this car's design to our advantage one more time. But now we will start in the rear. Now, once again, because the car is so stiff, I can just lift the rear and the front comes up as well. And the reason we're doing the rear now is because that's where the heavy weight is, the engine, the motor, and there's not that much in the front, so otherwise it would just kind of stay like that. Now I can put the third jack stand in place, lower the vehicle, and place the floor jack under the trailing arm in the back. This should feel very, very light to lift, as the car is already sitting on three jack stands, and just needs a little support to give enough clearance for the last jack stand. And that's it, we are done. The car is now safely supported on all four corners. You can now easily work on your brakes, customize the suspension, or simply change the oil, among other routine maintenance items. I hope this video has helped you be safer while working on your car. Let me know if you have any suggestions or concerns in the comments down below. Like the video and subscribe for a lot more BMW i3 content. I'll see you guys in the next one.